yo 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 what up youtube EX? is your boy daddy easy here i bought your break hacker otherwise known as only use me tomahawks some of y'all may know me as easy like always say to the black tip below my avatar on my youtube channel yeah buddy <clears throat> so let me tell you basically what this video is about um you might see me look over here might see me look over here might see me look over there but i might go cock out i might look like shack i might be going shot bang bang in a few minutes but nah that's not what the video is about but um <laughs> um as you can see what the title is for this video, it's called Last Time Using This Camera. So, no, it's not this camera that I'm recording from. This is actually my webcam. Um, I have to use this webcam because basically it's going to be the last time I'm be using my DSLR, my D3300. I'm going to go into some details. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. But... <clears throat> um, the recordings that you've seen, I had, I did do a couple unboxings, um, that I gotta put up. I actually have a video that I need to put up. It's one more video I need to put up for you guys, and that's the last, uh, video that's actually been taken with that particular camera. A lot of you guys ask me what camera I use. I use a DS, uh, a DSLR, uh, Nikon, Nikon, is it Nikon or Nikon? I don't know. Nikon D3300. Um, basically, it was a problem. I was originally supposed to got a D5300, and I'm going to go into the story about that in a few. But um, my camera is basically set up to do video shooting. I do a lot of short films and stuff like that. A lot of you probably don't know about that. Y'all probably think I got my... Ooh, excuse me. Y'all probably think I got my cameras, you know, just set on a tripod, and I'm using the DSLR to shoot footage, you know, record like other YouTubers actually don't. This is what my camera looks like. As you can see right here. So, this is how I do a lot of my shootings. As you can see, I have a mic bop, um, shotgun mic at the top, and stuff like that. And I do have hand to carry, everything like that. I do have a part to go on my shoulder like that, which I showed y'all before in the past, which is actually right here on the floor. Let me just grab that, which is this right here. As you can see, everything is color coordinated. <clears throat> so I do a lot of shooting with this. Um, when y'all see me do those high, you know, high def videos and stuff, I'm actually using this camera right there. But this camera is going to be returned back to Best Buy tomorrow, Sunday, <clears throat> uh, July. 31st so let's get into the story the reason why it's going back and the reason why I'm not keeping this okay if y'all watched my older 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 video let me just see how much I'm in okay three minutes in if you watch my older older video I talk about me getting a DSLR camera right I had purchased the um Canon I think it was the EOS Rebel T5 and when I asked the guy about the camera, I asked him, and I said this on video, I wanted a camera that does 1080p, 60 frames per second, also able to edit videos, also able to um, use a shotgun mic, also able to have Wi-Fi, also able to be able to control the camera from an app, from a third-party application, and a swivel LCD screen. He told me the D, he told me the Canon. So I brought the Canon, right? Now, they didn't have displays at the time. Brought the damn camera. Didn't have nothing. It had a remote part, but no microphone part, so I couldn't do it. Um, the camera that I brought like this before, it had just one feature, and that was just for a microphone. That was it. I was getting fed up with Best Buy and this particular employee. So, um... <clears throat> I asked a couple of people on YouTube what was the best camera. They said the D5300. Um, one person said D3300. I went to the store. The same person again. I told this person, microphone, which has to be um, an option for a, a shotgun mic. has to have Wi-Fi. has to have 1080p, 60 frames per second. Also do 24 frames per second. Also, be able to have a swivel LCD screen. Now, mind you, they didn't have this camera on display, right? 
He said, D3300. I said, do you have the D5300? He said, oh, well, the D5300 doesn't have the features that you have. False advertisement right here. So now, remember, I'm new to DSLRs, SLRs, right? I normally deal with high-quality cameras, Sony's and um, older models, basically, that like use the um, tape and stuff like that. Um, and I just went from using those type of cameras because I normally had it that uh, the camera that I originally had was a camera that takes tapes, and I was able to use a cord to connect it to my computer and actually transfer that file from that uh, camera to my iMac or my MacBook, whatever computer I had, and actually upload the file as a digital file, as an MP3 or MP4 file. I had one of those expensive movie-making cameras. That wound up getting damaged. I went into repair. After it got repaired, um, I linked it to my friend. He still has it. So I'm letting him use it. He's actually paying me for it. So um, I decided to get me DSLR because I want to start doing DSLR. Um, shootings and also want to be able to do the photography at the same time while I'm able to have this option to do it. Got the D3300. The first one that I got, he sold me an open box one, right? Went back to the store, got it replaced, right? I have two um, D3300s because I purchased one for backup. That sits inside a box by itself, not open. That's just a backup camera just in case something happens to one of the cameras that I have and I need to back it up. Brought this second one. Now my first one I purchased, I actually purchased that one from Newegg. That sits in the closet with some of my other cameras that I have. That's just for backup, which I'm gonna be probably using this camera sometime tomorrow um, in a couple of days. I'm not completely sure. I buy the camera, it has a scratch on the back screen. I'm looking at the camera. I'm like, you know what? This thing's not working. Return it back. Get a new replacement after there's a big situation going on in Best Buy. This manager in the store, they just fucking me over. Get the D3300. Now, mind you, this is not when I got my new one yet. I just replaced this camera that I just got. I got it, and I did a video. Now, at the time, I had three, three thir um, D3300s. One, my backup one. One that I replaced, and another one that I had to get. Uh, the original one I got that was broken, and the one that I got replaced. Um, so I got three of them all together. The one I got from Newegg, I didn't do a video on it um, because that's sitting inside the closet. The other two, I recorded it. Um, got home, played with it, got the new camera. Started messing with the settings. No swivel screen. Now, remind you, I never got a chance to mess with it. The one that I got, I never even really messed with it. When I took it out the box, I played with it. Um, at the time, I didn't know a lot about swivel um if y'all don't know what swivel is, it's basically this part on DSLRs, right? Um, I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, this looks funny. Why? You know, I take my finger there. I'm, I'm thinking maybe I could push the part open. I'm like, you know what? This is not a swivel, right? So I turn the camera on. It has two out of everything I asked for. It only had 1080p 60 and the 24 frames and the microphone. Didn't have built-in Wi-Fi. It did. Um, I had to buy an adapter for it, right? Um, after going back to the store, I contact them after the first camera, and I wanted to exchange that camera out for the D5300 because I found out that the the D5300 was that. I asked them, give me this camera and exchange it. I'll even pay the difference. If y'all don't want to give it to me, the price matched the same much that I paid for this camera that originally was for the price at that sell time. I'm even willing to put out an extra $100 to pay for the camera. They gave me a problem. I had to go to another store in, um, in a different part of Connecticut. And they gave me a problem. So I'm traveling around all of Connecticut just traveling all around traveling traveling and um I get the camera you know I'm trying to get everything situated some stuff like that call them up I'm trying to get this camera exchange for the D5300 um I call corporal I have a big thing happen they said it's gonna take care of it now mind you this was back in March this is July now um I got fed up 
called Best Buy a few days ago. I was like, listen, what y'all gonna do about this camera? I said, because one, I'm getting ready to go away, and I'll pay the difference. Just tell me how much the damn camera is so I can get this camera that I really want. So I get the, um, they tell me just bring it in, but here's the catch. I have to buy a protection plan. I don't want a Best Buy protection plan because the Best Buy protection plans is garbage. For $55 from freaking, um, from the company or Amazon, if I get a um, protection plan from Amazon, I get three, um, actually no, I get four year warranty. If I get the camera from the company, I get a three year warranty, right? Now on top of this, Best Buy don't want to do the bundle. Now the bundle on Amazon, it's five nineteen. They don't want to price match the bundle. So now what I did was I showed them the camera on Newegg so now, instead of getting a bundle, I'm just going to have to pay for the camera a little bit cheaper. I'm going to have to probably put like a hundred bucks in because um, the camera that I want is actually covered from what, how much I paid for it. Basically, I have to put in 55, 50 bucks for the protection plan. So I'm going tomorrow to actually do that. When I call customer service, customer service told me that I don't have to buy the protection plan. So what they told me what I can do is... Just exchange my camera out. Don't argue with her. Call customer service. And um, what they'll do is they will actually um, refund my money back in a check or a Best Buy gift card or take the membership and extend it out for four years. And I'm like, hmm, I'll do the four years. So that's basically what's happening with this camera. But this last time I'm using this camera, that's basically the story about it. I have another D3300, but like I said, it's just sitting in the box. On um, that's been unopened, nothing like that. So, um, yeah. You're probably wondering what the camera I'm getting. Um, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> this is about 12 minutes and it's about 17 gigabytes. In. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what the camera is. You have to wait until tomorrow. Hopefully, I will get the camera tomorrow. The only thing is, the Best Buy where um, I normally go at and get, you know, shop at, which I don't like going there. I like going to another Best Buy. It's th uh, four Best Buys I go to in Connecticut. I don't care. Um, I'll just drive there. Um, I just, it doesn't matter. Um, the, one of the Best Buys, I already know they're not going to have it. So, um, and that's the Best Buy I have to go to tomorrow. So, um, doing that order there, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick that camera up from a different store. Hopefully, they have it in stock. Um, I spoke to the store already on the phone. They said they're going to hold the camera when I place the order tomorrow to do the exchange. So, hopefully, I can pick that camera up tomorrow. If not, uh, I might not get that camera until, like, the 4th or the 5th. I'm supposed to be leaving to go to New Jersey, um, on the 4th. So, um... Yeah, I got a big event. I'm going to try to record it. But this camera, let me tell you about the camera. By me telling y'all what it is, y'all might be able to figure out exactly what this camera is. Um, it records in 4K and basically allows me to use my tablet. The feature that I want that has built-in Wi-Fi, right? It allows me to do exactly what I want. Now, it has a um, swivel LCD screen. That's touch. That's what I've been looking for. It has the port for the um mic for the shotgun mic. It's um micro HDMI, I think it's the mini HDMI, um mini USB, I believe it's standard USB. It has extra ports, batteries, all that good stuff. Um only difference is it's a built in lens. So by me saying built in lens, you could probably pick out exactly what camera it is and is in four K. Um, it's like a DSLR, but it's um, a zoom in. So that's one of the things that I like because the simple fact is my DSLR, it zooms in, but um, it has autofocus. Um, but zooming and stuff like that, uh, that's going to be one of the problems because anytime I need to zoom in on a product, I have to actually go behind the camera and turn it or use the knob that you've seen that's right on the camera and turn it to do it and then autofocus it. You know, it's just too many things to do. If I'm not behind the camera, I need a camera that's going to autofocus, zoom in, zoom out without me touching the camera. This particular camera 
that I'm going to purchase allows me to do it from my cell phone or from a tablet, any device, the zoom in, zoom out, and it has an automatic autofocus. It's my D3300. If I move this way or move that way, it's not going to autofocus. For example, if I was to take, uh, you know what, let's take this broken hard drive. If I was to take this, this right here, right? You see how this autofocus like that? And then if I move it back like this, you know how to autofocus like this? My other camera only does this. The D3300 does this. If I take this and I move it this way, what's basically going to happen is it's only going to follow what's in front of it like this. So if I move it this way, it's going to follow. If I move it this way, it's going to follow like that. I kind of look cock out it because I'm looking at the screen right now. I'm <laughs> not looking at the camera. But um, that's what the 3300 does. Um, this camera, you notice when I put things in front of it, it autofocus once it's in front of it. Once I move it to the side, it focuses back on what the subject is. Um, DSLR um, D3300 doesn't have that feature and stuff like that. And it takes too long to autofocus. With this webcam I'm using, if I take this and put it in front of it like this, it takes a good few seconds. If I put it in back like this, you notice it's not going to focus real quick. When I come back this way, it took about a good minute before, I say about 20 seconds, 10 seconds before autofocus back on me. This other camera focused on me like that. And when, like I was saying before, the thing that I like about this camera, I can autofocus it on me. I can use the tablet, my iPhone, to zoom in, zoom out, uh, focus on me, blur it, um... Uh, ju it's just a lot of features on it. I can turn my ISO, my aperture, my um, you know all this good stuff on the on the app on the phone on my device manually. Um, the problem what I was having was with the D3300. I can use it as a display and use my tablet, but I can't shoot video. What's the point of having it? So basically, I, I had to use a TV to basically see what I'm doing. And it was it's uncomfortable and had to buy a small little monitor to put on top of the camera just so I can see what I'm doing. It, it wasn't, it was just too much. You know, you know, I brought so many things for this D3300 and I was not able to use a lot of things. When I brought this mini monitor, I had to constantly charge it up. Battery was dying, everything. So with this new camera, I can use my tablet on my phone, connect it directly to the tripod or to one of the links on the um, my show them out. Use the camera to zoom in, focus, record, play, tune, autofocus, zoom in, zoom out. And that's one of the good things because let's say if I have to do a low shoot, I'm unable to zoom in and zoom out. So if I'm doing a low shoot, I can use my cell phone and view exactly what I'm seeing or I have that swivel, something like this. So if I'm have it open like this and I got the camera like this and I'm going low like real low like this I can have it real real low see what's happening on the screen but if I want to see you know close up I'll have my cell phone right here seeing exactly what the camera is having because sometimes you know when you go low with a screen this small you really can't see all the details or if you focus with my cell phone I can hold my cell phone like this while the camera is down and I can zoom in zoom out I can to what you call a um, bokeh, bokeh. Um, basically what it does, it zoom in on the subject and blurs everything else in the back. Or you can have something that's zoomed in in the back and blur everything else that's in front of it. That's one of the things that I look for. That's why I brought the SLR. But this camera that I'm about to purchase does that with no problem. You just set it up and you get that bokeh effect. Uh, if you notice some of my videos, I try to do the bokeh with this camera. But it's real hard. Basically, I'll have to sit completely in front of the camera, like what I'm doing, just to get the back background blurred out. So um, that's one of the things. I mean, if I want to, this camera doesn't do it because it does an autofocus on me. Um, I can set the camera up to do a bulky thing like that, but it's just something I don't just want to mess with at the time with my webcam. But let me get off this, guys. I already ate up 28 gigabytes. Which I'm gonna have to edit this video to knock down the gigabyte usage towards this. So, um, 
Yeah. Actually, no, it's not going to make a difference. So I might as well just upload this video as is. So y'all not going to get this video until probably sometime Sunday morning, about 3 a.m. It's about 10.52 right now. I'm stopping the video, and I'm uploading this video directly. And y'all probably not going to see this video until probably 3 a.m. in the morning, Eastern time. So, that's what I'm doing. Stay tuned for this video. Um, I'm going to try to do an upload shot, um, get in the camera. What I'm going to do is when I buy it, I'm going to take a video. Um, and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. It's going to be very, very short. If I get the camera the same day, if I'm able to get it from another store, I'm going to basically make a video about 10 seconds long ago. Guys, stay tuned for the unboxing. Going to pick up the camera like that. Y'all get a heads up. No, if not, I'm not going to do a video. If I don't get the camera tomorrow, I'm not going to do a video. And I'll come back and do a little vlog like this real quick. So, it's your boy Daddy Easy here. I brought you a hack on this time. I'm going to catch you guys later. No, no intro music at the end. It's just going to cut off right about now. Peace.